So there's a lot of complicated, time-consuming things you can try to make your audio sound better. But in this video, we're gonna talk about three simple things that you can try to save you time when it comes to editing, and also hopefully prevent you from having to re-record things over and over again. So the first thing you can try if you're recording inside is to try and get rid of any echo or reverb in the room. I'm in the process of setting up this new YouTube studio, and I've already started to fit some sound panels. You can see some of them on the background there. But you can probably hear there's still a bit of echo in this room. To fix this kind of echo or reverb, you can go and buy ready-made sound panels or acoustic foam. But if you want to save some money, you can also build your own DIY acoustic panels. That's what I've done for this studio. I did a whole video on that, which I'll put a link to in the description. This problem's actually made worse if you've got hard floors like we have in this studio, and I've still got to put some kind of acoustic treatment on the ceiling to help things. Tip two is all about microphone placement. At the minute, I'm recording this using the DJI wireless mic. You can see the transmitter right here. The microphone's really close to the source of the sound. Anytime you can get the microphone closer to the person talking, you should try and do that, because usually it's gonna result in a better sound. I'll just show you the difference in sound levels if I take this mic away from me. I'll put it all the way over here near the camera. So I'll go and boost the volume level of this talking in post so the loudness level is the same, but you should already be able to hear the audio sounds much worse with the microphone further away. Tip three is all about what to do if you've got bad audio that you've got to work with. Perhaps you couldn't get rid of the echo in the room or you couldn't change the microphone placement and you've also got no option to re-record the audio. This is where tip three comes in super handy. The third tip is related to one powerful tool you can use in your video editing software. It doesn't matter whether you're using Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut. They all offer a tool called EQ or Equalizer. EQ tools let you shape the sound by boosting or reducing different frequencies to get a much better sound. If I just turn the EQ off for this piece I'm recording to the camera now, you should be able to hear the difference. You can probably hear a bit more echo and a bit more rumbling in the audio. And if I turn it back on, things should sound so much better. For example, the EQ tools in DaVinci Resolve can make a massive difference if you've got recorded audio that you need to improve. That's why I did a whole video on it that you can check out next. I'm Jason Roberts and this channel is all about making better looking, better sounding and better edited video. Hit that subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.